Hello guys, today I want to give a short note on impact parameter. Consider a positively charged particle like a proton or an alpha particle is approaching towards a massive nucleus N of an atom as shown in the figure. So, a positive particle in the world, proton or alpha particle. So, that is a nucleus wipe. Due to the presence of Coulombic repulsive force, the particle follows the hyperbolic path AB. Positive particle, nucleus wipe, which is a Coulombic force of repulsion, the hyperbolic path AB follows. In the absence of Coulombic repulsive force, the particle would have followed the straight path AC. Okay, well, like Coulombic repulsive force and the lake down at light, a particle and the hyperbolic path ni kakunda, straight path AC gunda will lay. So, as shown in the figure, P is the perpendicular distance from the nucleus N to the original direction AC of the particle. So, you could P and the perpendicular distance ka manam draw chess kundam. Now, the distance Nm is equal to P is called a impact parameter. So, E distance name manam impact parameter and to nam. Thus, the impact parameter is defined as the closest distance between the nucleus and the positively charged particle projected towards it. This impact parameter is also called collision parameter. So, this is somewhat about the impact parameter. Now, again the relevant topic scattering cross section. So, scattering cross section when alpha particles are projected into a thin metal foil, they are deflected or scattered in different directions. So, if you have alpha particles in a metal foil, they will deflect or scatter. Let n be the incident intensity and dn be the number of particles scattered per unit time into a solid angle d omega in the direction of theta with respect to the bombarding direction. Now, the ratio dn by n is called scattering cross section. Thus, the scattering cross section in a given direction is defined as the ratio of number of scattering particles into a solid angle per unit time to the incident intensity n. So, this is somewhat about the scattering cross section. Thank you.